Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is my Ipsy unboxing slash try on slash first impressions video that I do every single month. And I liked pretty much every single thing in this box. There were a few little exceptions to things that I just didn't care for, personal preference only. But overall, I really enjoyed this box and I used several products on my face that came in this month's box. And yeah, I guess there's really no need for a long intro. If you guys are interested in possibly finding out some new products that you've never heard of before, then just keep watching and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so um, we're going to start with a skincare product and it is actually the only skincare product in the whole box. And it is from JLo Beauty, and it's called That JLo Glow. Now, this is a serum um, that, hang on, where'd that thing go? Okay. Um, it come with this little um, pamphlet read thing, um, like describing it, and it says to... Um, to use morning and night on dry, dry, clean skin. So, here we go. Well, there we go. Okay. So it's like a milky color. It says it's for your entire face and neck. And we all know that we extend that to the backs of our hands. And then it says to let it absorb into the skin before doing moisturizer. And so I'm actually really glad that I opened the box first to find out what was in there before I did something backwards. So I did not do moisturizer yet. Um, and then moving forward from here is going to be more like all makeup stuff. And so I am going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, like foundation and concealer and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to let this set in and then I'll finish up my moisturizer and foundation and then I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did my foundation and eyebrows. Um, so the serum, it did dry pretty quick. I think actually it dried almost like instantly as soon as I applied it to my face. So I'll just have to continue using it. I don't have anything like this. Um, and so I'll just have to continue using it. And this is a full size product and like, I, this is not my first JLo product. I do have, I did have something else. I think it was like an eye cream. Like, um, I didn't really notice anything with that one. And so here's to hoping that this one will give me a glow. Now, moving on to the next product and it is from Wonder Beauty. And this is the Wonder Lust Powder Foundation. Now, for some, oh, and it's in Light Claire. Um, for some reason, I was thinking this was a, like, setting powder and so I didn't realize what this was and so that's my bad but it's a powder foundation and so I used to use powder foundations when you open it this is what it looks like I used to use powder foundations whenever I was younger so like the girls nowadays in like preteen and stuff like that they're using like what I use they're using like Estee Lauder and like liquid. I didn't start using liquid stuff until I was like almost in my thirties. Like it's crazy. So it comes with this little puff and then it has this oop, little door thing that opens and then that little thing fell out. So here's what the powder looks like. It's very soft. So it says powder foundation, but this is definitely like a setting powder, right? It definitely says powder foundation, but this doesn't feel like a powder foundation. So I'm going to, ooh, that mirror is nasty. I am going to use the little puff or pad or whatever you want to call this little guy. I'm going to use a little bit of that on here. What is wrong with this? Is there something? Is there a film on there? A film on there? <laughs> okay. I knew something was going on. Okay. So. 
Oh my gosh. So I guess I'm just going to treat this like a um, setting powder. I have not used powder in probably 20 years. I hope I'm doing this right. Okay. So. There we go. My face is very, very matte looking now. Um, okay, so I will just have to continue using this as well. Um, I have not used a powder product like that in a really long time. I just, and, and the application, literally probably like 20 years since even before I got out of high school, I hadn't used a powder foundation like that. But moving on to the next product, which is I Defy. And this is a black mascara. I've never heard of I Defy before. It's really like minimal packaging, really cute. And let's get this open. Okay, I like the wand. So here we go. I've already done all the other stuff. Also, I cannot record this looking in the mirror or I cannot put this on while looking in in the phone okay it seems to be kind of thick okay can you tell the difference can you tell more mascara Okay, let me go do the other eye and I will be right back. Okay, so I did do this eye and then I went ahead and did a second coat on the right eye. It went on really easily. Okay, and now a second coat on both of them. So I really like it so far. It um, went on really nice. It does feel a little thick, which I guess is not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes you have mascaras that are really too thin and they really don't like thicken, make your lashes look very like full. I feel like they look really good. Um, they just need a curl, that's for sure. But other than that, I really like it. And this is um, actually one that I chose because I am pretty much, well, I am, I'm out of my mascara that I've been using over the past like two weeks. Um, I've been using a sample of the L'Oreal Paradise one because it come in from like um, a free sample from Ulta whenever we were there a couple weeks ago. And so that's what I've been using. And I chose this one specifically for that reason. And I'm really glad I did because I really like this so far. We'll see how it wears. As long as it doesn't like flake off all over my face or uh, like run into my eyeballs if I sweat, you know what I mean? So I'll have to put it to, through the test for like tomorrow. I, I'll go to Zumba tomorrow. And so I'll be able to like test it out and see how it stands through sweating in a workout, but yeah, so far, I really like it. And the next product up is from Lunar Beauty. Now, I'm not super familiar with this brand either, which I've noticed that Ipsy doesn't just always share like name brand things. Like most of these I've never heard of before, like um, Wonder. I've never seen this sold anywhere other than Ipsy. So this is in Doodle Blushing. Okay. Oh, and this is a lip, uh, lip liner. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, okay, so I bet one of them is named, yeah. Okay, so I bet one is named Blushing and one is named, oh, I lost the lid. Fluff, what are you doing over there? Do you want out? 
So the lighter color is blushing and the pinker color is doodle. So let's do a little swatch for you. Okay, nice. That is blushing. And then doodle. Definitely more of a pink pink. So I'm not gonna do that one. I am going to wear the blushing one. Goes on really nice. Do you have to, oh, it ha oh it's a, you gotta sharpen it. Okay, it's very smooth. I like filling in my lips with the lip liner. I feel like it helps my mas mascara. I feel like it helps my lipstick last longer. Okay, I really like this color. It is definitely going to be one that I use on a regular basis. Yeah, I think this other one is just a little too pink for me. I'm not much of a pink girl, but I like I like the nude with the smidge of pink. Does that make sense? But it went on really, really smooth. So that is a plus. The only thing that I don't like is that you have to sharpen it and not just like twist up. So that's really annoying. But other than that, I really like this. And the last product from today is a lipstick from Trust Fund Beauty. Now, I have not heard anything from Trust Fund Beauty in so long. I think it's been like years. I think the last time I remember actually using something of theirs was when we lived in Crestview, which was back in like 2017. So, I don't know. I just kind of forgot about them until it showed up in the Ipsy selections. Um, it's called Birthday Suit. That's the color. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's definitely more of a, a mocha looking color. Sorry, the lighting just went really dark in here. Um, it's been kind of cloudy off and on all day. So, oh, here, let's do... Oh, that's a good nude. Okay, so... I think I chose these together. This was one that I chose and the lip liner. So I chose these together. I try to choose things because if you don't know with Ipsy, they automatically just like give you two products or not like give them, but you know, they choose them for you. And then you choose the other three. So the first two that they were sending me was the JLo Beauty and the Wonder Powder, um, which I thought was a press powder or um a setting powder, but whatever. Um, and then I chose the other three. And so I try to make things so that they go nice together so that I can create a full look with them. And so anyways, I'm rambling. Oh, my lights just flickered. Is it just in a storm? I think I heard thunder earlier. Okay. Seems to go on nice. It does feel. It does feel a little dry. I'm going to take this down, can I? Um, it does feel a little dry, not going to lie. But it's not like it's not sticky. Which. What would that be? Is it a matte? This, oh, it's a matte. I will probably add on a little bit of gloss just because I feel like more mature lips look better glossy than matte, but whatever. But yeah, I really like it. So, to sum it up, I am going to say, I'm going to give this box like an 8 out of 10. Um, I will probably use every single product in here except for the powder unless I use it with like a brush. I just, I can't see using that little powder puff thing. Um, I don't know. It's 
kind of small and yeah so i will probably use a brush with it for a setting powder i don't think it says that it's um a powder foundation i don't think this is a foundation that's crazy that's that's too light right too like delicate for a foundation Anyway, so this is the only pro um, this is the only product that I probably will not use regularly. I am definitely going to use this um, that JLo Glow Glow Serum. Definitely going to use this like every single day. The lipstick and the nude color lip liner are going in my makeup bag pronto, um, and then the pink one I will probably put in the. Um, box of stuff that I just kind of like give to friends and family and let my girls play in and that that sort of thing the mascara I really like the mascara so far I feel like my lashes look really good other than the fact that they need to be curled um, it went on really smoothly and this is two coats so yeah I really like the mascara and I will definitely be using this as well so overall I give the box an 8 out of a 10 and that's it for today's video. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and learning about maybe some new products that you've never heard of before. Um, if you have not tried Ipsy before, I will leave a link in the description box below for you to check out. Ipsy is a makeup subscription that comes to your door every single month. I love Ipsy. I've probably been getting Ipsy for way too long at this point. I'm going to say like eight years at least. Um, and I actually started out getting just the little makeup pouches that had like the sample sizes in it for, I think it was like $10 a month at the time. And I had since upgraded to the, um, Glam Bag Plus, which is full size products. Hence why I have full size products like this and like this. And yeah, that's it. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.